or no. Okay, so uh, I wanted to make a video today. So update on the circumcision with day 10, 11. Day 11, actually. Um, uh, and it's going well. It's, um, you know, you have good days and bad days, right? And so, but the bad days are never quite as bad. That's how, the, that's how it's getting better. So uh, the worst thing is the erections, honestly. About the circumcision I'm talking, obviously, not just general life. Um, at night, they're just, they're fearsome. They're absolutely terrifying. My poor wife is terrified that I'm going to heal up. <laughs> so, yeah, they're, 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 I said, I think I said before that they're not painful. And that's not true. Sometimes they are. But it's not terrible pain. It's just, it's intensity. It's an intensity of which I, like, I've never experienced before. Um, but the problem is that they're happening at night and they're waking me up. And so it's really difficult. I got a good night's sleep last night, but I went to bed early and about 20 minutes as I was just starting to actually drift off to sleep, I got an erection and it was, I was awake. I was like, okay, great. Now what am I going to do? Um, so basically I think I found the best way to avoid the erection, not avoid it, but to, to lessen the chance of it happening is to, uh, I cut myself, there's nothing weird. Anyway, um, is to um, wrap it in a bandage, just simply so that it's not being constantly touched, right? So it's not touching something, which I think, especially when you're falling asleep and you're not, you know, conscious, um, the natural reaction kicks in and thinks, oh, stimulation, we should do something. So uh, wrapping it in a bandage at night really does seem to help a lot. Um, it's just in general, it's a pain in the ass having to do it every night and then take it off in the morning and, you know, throwing it away and getting a new one, a gauze or whatever. But I think it's worth it, right? It's a, it's a temporary thing. It's not going to last forever. Uh, so the other reason I'm making today's video is that I got some guy uh, found, I put the tag circumcision in, someone obviously found it and just spewed some hate. He made like, I don't know how many comments. I didn't read all of the comments, to be honest with you, because after two of them, I was like, okay, this guy's just wants to be mean. But what I found interesting was he was saying, you're so dumb, you're such an idiot, you've abused yourself, or, or you know, I'm paraphrasing the hell out of the guy. Um, but basically, he was blaming me <laughs> for getting a circumcision, like I was promoting something in that, uh, the, the choice of getting it. Just to be clear, I had to get my circumcision. It wasn't an aesthetic choice. I didn't say like, oh, you know what? I think I want to look, I want to have a cut dick. It <laughs> wasn't a choice I made. I was perfectly happy with my foreskin. I liked it. I really did. My whole life, I was totally cool with it. But I had something called phimosis. And there were three options given to me. One of which doesn't work. And I spoke to two doctors about it. And both of them said, yeah, they don't work. Creams don't work. Of course, there are people that it works for. Right? Of course there are, because otherwise they wouldn't, I assume, wouldn't even be able to sell it. But the point is that there's a, 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 a very, very high chance that the creams wouldn't work. And they were expensive, and I didn't have the money. So I'm like, okay, so we move on that. The next one is called a dorsal slit. I found out the name of it, which is where they, they cut the back of it. Uh, and the doctor says, that does work. It's, it's fine. He says, care of it is a little more difficult, and it changes the look of the foreskin. So, for example, in the case of this guy who came on and hated everything I assume that he would also have an issue with that I don't know I think I've blocked him from the channel I don't know much about YouTube so anyway if you're watching this dude relax I didn't do it on purpose I didn't do it or rather I did it on purpose but I didn't do it because of some political statement I did it because I had phimosis and phimosis is where the foreskin gets so tight you can't retract it over the penis and you can't clean the penis and you get infected penis. So my options were to get circumcised or potentially lose my penis. <laughs> so, I don't know. Like, people on the internet get so angry without thinking there might be another reason. I mean, I understand it. I'm sure there are people out there who do just get it because they want to get it done. But also, I, I'm like, I don't care. Do whatever you want to do. Why would I care about that? It's your penis. You have a right to do whatever you want. Anyway, I had no agenda, just trying to heal myself, get better. Um, but I never experienced that before. It was kind of interesting. I was like, oh, look, this guy. I woke up. I thought, oh, I haven't looked at my videos for a couple of days. So I hit refresh and I saw, oh, I got a new subscriber. I was like, oh, I wonder what that, oh, my God, what's all the hate? Why does he hate me so much? Or she. I don't know, actually, who is. Oh, no, it was a he because I think he mentioned 
did he mention he was? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't see uh, a woman being that angry about circumcision. Maybe they are. I would only see a man who was circumcised at birth and feels maybe it was a bad one. And like they lost all sensitivity and they just feel like they were abused and they, you know, you have no right to do that. Which I'm not going to get involved with because, I don't know, it's just not my path in life is to care about that stuff. I have an opinion about whether you should uh, circumcise at birth, but it's not, you know, personally I don't. But then again, I've been through this and it makes my decision a little bit more, hmm, I don't. But if there's a good chance you get what I got, you do. Because this pain is way worse, you know, and I, you know, anyway, I don't know. I didn't want to get into it because anyway, so that's it. So day 11, the update is it's getting better every day. It really is. Um, it's healing up well. Um, stitches are weird. They're just frustrating. They're annoying and they get caught on my pants and I don't know, just frustrating. Um, I bought a whole new set of underwear, like this cool bamboo stuff. What are they called? Hang on. To show you my bloomers. Relax. These things. Look at them. They're big, aren't they? Um, Eushigia. Eushigia. What is that? Eushigia? Anyway. Really good. I don't know if they're quality, but they feel really, really good. So, rather than my cheap Hanes that I was wearing or Fruit of the Loom, whatever it was. Um, so, yeah. Day 11. Healing up. It's getting a little bit better. Every day a little, little bit better. Um... If you're in, if you're finding this and you're in the first week and you're like, oh my God, this is ridiculous. What's going to happen? It does get better. Just hold out. It really does. The sensitivity, it's a different type of sensitivity, right? So when I was hearing the word sensitivity, I was like, well, I don't know what that means. I'm in pain sensitivity. I don't know where I am. You, there will be a day, hopefully for you, it's the same as me in the second week where you realize there's a difference. Right now it's sensitive. But it's not painful. I can I, I can live with that. Walking's still funny. Every so often I'm like, oh, hey, that's in the wrong position. But in general, it's better, you know. I think the other thing you need to prepare yourself for if you're thinking about getting it and you happen to get onto this, you've probably not reached this far into the series. But if you happen to be thinking about getting it, prepare yourself for how sedentary you're going to be. Now, I'm sedentary anyway. Look at me. But um, you can't do anything. You really can't. But it's not like a hernia where you can't lift. You feel like you could do something. Like I can, you know, I went to the market very slowly yesterday and I got two huge jugs of water. You can carry them fine. The problem is if you make a little stumble or something, it's like, oh, it's going to catch it and, and hurt a little bit. So in the end, it's at least a week of you doing almost nothing. And that's a little weird. It's, it's kind of like, I don't know. You feel like you should be able to go out and carry on your life because, you know, it's not like having the flu or something where you just want to hit the bed, you want to lie in bed. You want to get up and do something. You just can't, you know. All right, I'm done. Day 11. Um, to the dude, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, man, relax. Just chill out. I think you're banned from the channel. I don't know why I would even care about that. But he spewed so much on every video. It was like, dude, man, I get you've got an agenda, but think about it. Maybe I didn't do it as an agenda maybe i did it because medically i had to all right you nuggets you have a lovely day i love you even you dude whose name i can't remember because i banned you now bye